Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today we're looking at verses 5 through 8 in Psalm 37. Psalm 37, verses 5 through 8. Now, yesterday we talked about the five precepts that are here in these first eight verses. Uh, actually, I said five plus one. The first is the condition. Fret not yourself against or because of evildoers. And then for the rest of them, beginning in verse three, trust in the Lord, delight thyself in the Lord. And then today we come to number three, commit thy way into the Lord. In number in verse 7, we have number 4, rest in the Lord. In verse 8, we have number 5, cease from anger. You see, when we fret because of evildoers and we're envious against them, it does us no good whatsoever. And so the only help for us is to trust in the Lord. And then once we've trusted in the Lord, then the rest of these precepts just fall right in line. They're all in order. Delight, commit, rest, and cease from anger. They all run right together because we're trusting in the Lord. That's why I say it's five plus one. That first is the condition. Fret not because of evildoers. There's a problem, and the problem is that the saints are fretting over the wicked and how they prosper and what they have. But you have to remember their end and trust in the Lord. Let him handle it. Don't you try to do it yourself. Injustice, inequity, inequality all find their root in jealousy and envy. Because we talk about this all the time, especially today. We're always talking about injustice. We're always talking about inequities. And we always want to do something about it. You know, we want to we want to take the gospel, we want to make everything right. You can't make everything right. And if you do that, you're going to become jealous and envious of what those people have. That's not what you need to do. What you need to do is trust. You need to trust in the Lord and do good. And then all the rest of these will just fall right in line. So let me read 5 through 8. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Isn't that interesting that here in the last part of verse 5, we have the idea of fretting again, but this time it's we're not to fret to cause ourselves to do evil. You see, that's what's going on today. All this talk of injustice and inequality and inequity and all that causes us to fret and to do evil and to step away from trusting and delighting and committing ourselves to the Lord. So let's talk about that third one. Commit thy way unto the Lord. You say the way of the wicked is prospering. He's delighting in all that he has and so forth. But what about the way of the Lord? Commit thy way unto him. See, he has a way too. And it's a way that will bring all the victory to pass. That's, he's going to bring all that to pass. Trust in him and he shall bring it to pass. So we commit ourselves unto the Lord. Verse 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Now we're going to have waiting show up again in verse 9. And I'll wait to comment on that then. But wait in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Again, we have that idea of fretting. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers. So we have fretting mentioned three times in verse 1, in verse 7, and then again in verse 8. Don't fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. And we live in a day when there are evil men, and they are bringing to pass wicked devices. Don't fret over them. Trust in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Wait on the Lord and cease from anger. You see, when we focus on the inequities, the injustices, we get mad. 
We get mad. We get angry. We want to take matters into our own, our own hands and fix everything. But we can't do it. We cannot do it. Cease from anger. Forsake wrath. Don't fret yourself into the position where you do any evil. Join me again tomorrow, and we'll look at verses 9 through 12 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.